Now there are a lot of chart options to choose from, such as the styling, the colors, the layout, and even different chart types in the chart type box. What you'll also notice when you're looking at this chart type option is there is a templates folder, currently empty. This is where any customized templates of your own can be stored. By customized templates, I mean chart templates. So these are charts that you've created. You like the color scheme, you like the style, you like all the labels that you've placed on and all those kind of controls. And you think, well, that's my template. I want to save that so that I can reuse it in other Excel files. Well, we can do that. So here we are in our three charts one. Let's say, for example, I apply some crazy formatting to this. And a quick layout option, perhaps that one, seven or eight. Mm, let's go with that one. I like it. Perhaps I want to change the orange. So let's change the orange out for a different fill color. Let's go green. I really ought to change the whole series. So let's click away, and make sure we select the whole series and then go green. And that one there, which is gray. I don't like gray. Let's go orange. Okay. I've done enough changes, I've customized it, I've made this chart look how I want it to look. What I would then do to save that chart as a template that I can reuse is to right click and you see there's a save as template option. Choose that. It will want to go to the default location on your machine, which is your templates folder and then charts. It will want to keep the file with the extension CRTX, which is chart template file. But you can actually change its name and I'm going to call this Guy, cool chart, save. Now that's now in my template structure. So if we open another file that we have in our working folder, which is the data Jan 2013, and to this chart here, I would like to apply my template. So I don't wanna to have to go through the process of remembering the chart type and styles and layout that I chose. I want to actually just apply the same template. I go to change chart type. I choose the template section and I see there my cool chart type. And then OK to apply. And you'll see that it applies the exact same coloring, the layout, and any customization I may have added in to that chart. Now, with our data, that looks exactly the same as the other chart, but only because we're effectively using pretty much the same data. If I wanted to apply it to a completely different chart, then let's go back to our three charts file and apply it to our pie chart. So we're gonna completely change this from a pie chart to our template type, which is a bar, black background, different colored, etc. cetera. Well, we go to chart type, templates. There's my cool chart. Okay. And because we only have one data series, it's just taking the first of the colors, which is blue. But everything else is the same. The labels are on the left, the scale on the bottom, the black gradient fill background. So that's the templates. You simply set up your chart as you would want it to be. Right click, save as template. That then gets stored in your system under templates slash charts, but is then available to you in all future workbooks by going to change chart type, templates. And if you've got a few, they'll all be listed here.